Good morning. Yeah, today is May 1st, the International Day of the Worker, and it is a big tradition, not just here in Los Angeles, but of course all across the world. And certainly in years past, right here at this intersection, really at this time, there had been thousands of people gathered here at any given time. This morning, we did see some demonstrators earlier this morning. They have gone home, but they tell us they will be back here later today. There are a number of demonstrations and rallies planned all across the downtown LA area throughout the day today. Let's show you some video from last year because this did bring out thousands of people. In fact, this is a rally that brings together many groups, uh, organized labor, immigrant rights groups. They're demanding better pay, better working conditions. And of course, all of these issues becoming more prominent now because of inflation, because the rising costs of rent, of living here, of health care. And they've also gathered here in the past to push for uh, immigrants' rights to give amnesty to DACA recipients. We are hearing that there will be protests that will be taking place throughout the downtown LA area, 3 p.m. in Little Tokyo, 4.30 in Boyle Heights, and 5 p.m. right here at this intersection of Broadway and Olympic. All of them will converge later on tonight at City Hall in downtown LA. And generally, as I said in years past, this does bring together thousands of people, lots of different groups from SEIU, the United Federation of Teachers, to CHIRLA, the immigrants' rights groups. I should tell you that they are warning people or folks that are going to be in the downtown LA area that throughout the day today, because of those protests, there will be a number of closures. Some of those street uh, closures to tell you about Cesar Chavez to the north, Pico to the south, Alameda to the east, and Figueroa to the west. So certainly uh, be aware of that if you're going to be in the downtown LA area. There's going to be a number of sporadic protests taking place throughout the day today, uh, culminating tonight with a big protest at City Hall in downtown. That's the very latest from here. We'll send it back to you.